Luke, congratulations. It's another brutal victory. And then victory. bam! <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, James. Another brutal victory over your mate Ryan Searle on, on TV, but for us, a great game to watch. Just sum it up for us. Yeah, it was... It was oh, yeah, Ryan's... A, he's so underrated. I think he's, he's one of the toughest players to be. He's, he's up there with the, the, the top heavy scorers in the world. So for me, you know, I knew I had a really, really tough game there. He didn't start off like he can. Obviously, he's had a great tournament. You know, the, his first two games he's scoring has been, you know, absolutely fantastic. So I knew I had a really, really tough game there. And, um, yeah, he, I think the lead is what won me the game. I think if it would have been a lot closer in the, in the start, um, you know, it could have been like 8 or 9 or in the end. And then it would have been, you know, Ryan's throw or my throw. Or, you know, it would have been a lot closer and it would have been a lot more tension. But, you know, I think, I think the, um, you know, the advantage I got from... Being six one up, uh, helped me win the game. You ever worried when he was coming back at you? Yeah, that's the that's the thing that's changed. I don't ever worry anymore. I think you know, I've had a great couple of months, and um, you know, if, if, you know, if he'd come back at me and won the game, then I'd have shook his hand, and and you know, you, just that fairy tale of how long well it's gone the last couple of weeks would have you know been over. But I'm still riding the wave. I'm still here. I'm still going. I'm still winning. So um, yeah, I feel, I feel, do you know what? it feels like a free run for me because you know the last couple of uh, months is. You know, exceeded all expectations. I just dreamt of winning one major, so winning two, and I feel like this is a free run, and I'm probably at my my most dangerous now because I feel like, you know, it's, it it'd be quite a struggle to win a third, but you know, obviously into the final day, I've got a great chance to do it again. I know you said previously you struggle with energy sometimes, so to come through a long day like this with two good performances must please you. Yeah, these are tough, 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 tough days. Uh, you know, they 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 do require a lot of um, energy they take out of you. Um, but I took on from that experience over the European Tour, that has helped me. I think that is one thing that European Tour has, um, has gave me, is that experience of being able to cope for the long, long days. Um, and I've played in so many of them, 10 finals now, so, and then obviously last weekend, you know, that was a long slog as well. So yeah, I think I, I draw on the experience, as much as I'm a young person, I draw on that experience of, you know, these, these tough, tough days. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm starting to cope better with them than I ever have done. You and Michael setting the standards here so far this weekend, and it looks as if you're on a potential collision course in that final. Do you do you see it that way? I mean, I hope it goes that way. <laughs> you know, obviously, my I, I've you know, won, my dream is to to beat Michael in the final because it's regardless who's world number one. You know, obviously Phil's not here, so I can't um, play him, against him in the final. But it's to beat Michael in the final because you know that it, that would really. Uh, Tickle the taste buds something. I think that is what I've always wanted to do is beat the best player in the world at this moment in time. I still regard him as that uh, in a final. So yeah, I think that's something that I would love to do. But of course, he's got two tough games tomorrow. I've got two tough games tomorrow, um, and it might not be him. It might not be me. But you know, I'd love to play him in the final. Cause I always play well against him. I'm sure my management would be very happy as well. That's well, oh can't. yeah, I'm that of it as well. Um, funny you should say that. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about you being the best player in the world. Man, we asked Michael, did, "Did you think he was?" And he was like, "He said, look, you're playing some fantastic darts, but he'd never admit you're the best player in the world because you haven't beaten him." Bit, bit of a carrot. Then, if you could beat him, then would the, would the change over happen? Yeah, like like I've said, you know, you, I might be the best player of the last couple of weeks, but he's been the best player of the last. If you say who's been the best player of the last eight to ten years, you'd say Michael, wouldn't you? So, of course, he's not going to say that. But um, you know, I think. He has been one of the best players this year, along with, with Gezi as well. Us three have probably have been the most consistent. So, you know, a lot of people forget that he's won the Premier League, he won the World Series final, so and a couple of World Series he won. So, he's not done too bad himself this year, has he? Um, I think a lot of people forget the you know, back end of the year, the start of the year, forget all the, the achievements they've done, and you just focus on what's happened recently. So, yeah, I think he's had a great year as well, and I think this would be a, a fitting final if he could both make, make it. Um, it, uh, tomorrow, but of course, you know, like I said, we've got a couple of tough games to go yet before we start even thinking about it. Luke, congratulations on two. And then bam! <laughs> <laughs> Luke, you played twice today and two tumble averages. What is the, the level of performance you expect from yourself heading into a match now? Pretty much like I threw that. I, obviously, I expect it, but it's not always going to be that way. Um, you know, the 100 averages of, I think I've hit like seven or eight out of the last 10 games, so, you know, obviously my form's been really, really good. Um, but you know, the thing is, it can all change around. You know, one minute you could be playing this well, and then the next minute it's not going as good. So you just have to ride that crest of the wave, and you know, keep pushing, keep winning, win as much as you can while it's going great. Um, and you know, I think my the thing for me is my will to win is higher than it's ever been. Um, you know, I used to come into competitions think you know, make the quarterfinals and it's a great achievement. Whereas now, obviously, I want to come in and win, and, and nothing else will, will be an achievement for me. 
Is that a recent change then after you obviously listening to Grand Slam as well? I know we spoke in Dortmund and you said obviously you want to win everything but really a quarter final you'd be somewhat satisfied with. Is that, is that mindset change after you won the Grand Slam on top of the, the Grand Prix as well? I mean obviously when I come to this a minimum you look at is quarter final of course that, that, that does satisfy you but you know, I feel like you never get that feeling of greatness unless you keep keep winning. Um, you know, obviously I want to win as many major titles as I can and every time I get to a quarterfinal you feel like there's another opportunity for you to do it. Um, I just, you know, you're not going to make quarterfinals and majors every weekend so, you know, every time you get into that position you want to you know, take advantage of it, capitalise uh, and go on and win. But these ones are the toughest ones because it's a, it's a bit, bit like uh, last weekend Grand Slam, three really tough games tomorrow, a long slog, you know, it's going to be a... Um, lot of stamina involved but I feel like that, that's something that's improved in my game and something that allows me to, to win these tournaments a lot more. Do you think that a recent experience then from the Grand Slam only being last week will, will help you being if it is if you do go all the way to the final that you've had that recent you know, first 16 twice in one day? Yeah I, I, I honestly do I think you know if I um, obviously got a tough game uh, in the quarters against James or, or Dimitri but if I can get through that game I just know when I come back in the evening I'm a different animal I seem to play better. Um, no matter how tired I am, I seem to be a better player when I'm, you know, a bit more tired, um, a little bit more lethargic. I, I don't know why that is. It, it just seems to be that way. So, you know, I feel like if I can get through that quarterfinal game tomorrow, whoever it's against, then, um, you know, I'll, I'll believe again that I can definitely win, win another title. But there's, there's going to be eight fantastic players left in. So, um, you know, may the best man win. You mentioned that quarterfinal. It could be James Wade. It's probably the only game you played in the past month or so where it's not been at your best. Will you take from, from that experience to make sure that you, you are on top of your game? Yeah, yes and no. I mean, obviously, James has a way of like not making you play your best, but um, he also has a way of making me play my best. You know, a couple of times in the year or two, I've put in some of my best performances. Um, you know, it was just one of them games, I think it was a it was a struggle in that um, semi-final. We both didn't play our best, and I think when someone ain't playing their best, you try and try too hard to capitalise on their mistakes, and then obviously he was trying to capitalise on my mistakes. So I just feel like I'm playing well again. Uh, tomorrow's a new day. If it is James, then um, you know I feel comfortable. That I can put in a lot better performance than in the Grand Slam. But you know I've got a good record against them both, James and Dimitri. So um, I'll play on that, and hopefully um, it goes my way again. Cheers, Luke. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you very much.